Hey and welcome to designgibucover.com I'm going to teach you today one of the best way to create a card presentation using Photoshop. You can use this package to make both business card or membership card. To find the folder that contains the card that you want to use, open the card folders JPEG file. You can see near all the 15 cards layouts. Above each one of the card layout, you can see the folder name that contains the card. There is one folder that you are not going to see in here, and that folder called all the cards. On that folder you have one PSD file that contains all the 15 layout. Using the PSD file you will be able to edit all the 15 layout at once. We will get back to this PSD at the end of the video. Let's start by editing card number 3. Open the folder that called card 3 and open the PSD file that called card 3. This is the 3D layout that you are going to see inside of Photoshop. And on the right side you can see the layers panel. The only layer that you are going to edit in all the 15 cards layout is the front layer. This layer using the smart object function. To open it press twice on the icon that on the left side of the layer. As you can see Photoshop has opened us a new window. A flat window of the 3D layout. Any changes that we are going to make on this window will take effect on the 3D layout after we will save it. I will show you now what each one of the layers does. This is the company name. This is the slogan. The top circle is the background of the company and the slogan. This is your name. Your email. Phone. Address line and your website. Below is the background of the website and the address line. This is just a nice gradient that you have on the background. And this is the background. If there is a layer that you want to hide from the layout, all you have to do is to press on the eye that's on the left side of the layer. You can do the same to all the layers. All the layers that have a T icon on the left side are text layer. To change them, press twice on the T that on the left side and put your new text. When you're done, press on the V that on the top window to approve that. You can do the same to all the text layers. If you want to change the color of the text, the text layer needs to be selected, then select the type tool and on the top window you will see a color box. Press on that once and choose the new color that you want. You can change the color of all the layers that have a color box on the left side by pressing twice on the color box and choose the color that you want. And you can change each one of the other layers the same way. And this is it. If you want to add a picture or something to this layout, you can do that as well. Now all you have to do is to save the file. You can do it by going to File and choose Save. And when you go back to the 3D window, you will see all the changes that you made on the flat layout affected the 3D layout. If there is something that you don't like on the design, you can always go back to the smart object and change it again. Press twice on the smart object, make the changes that you want, and remember after you make the changes, you have to save it. We also have some cards that have more than one smart object. For example, card number 8. Open the folder that called card 8 and open the PSD file that called card 8. We have in here more than one smart object, but you only need to change one of them. When you will change one of them, it will change all of them. Press twice on the smart object, make the changes that you want, and save it. And as you can see, all of them changed at once. You can change all the other cards layout the same way. Now, we save the best to the end. Go to all the cards folder and open it. On that folder you will see all the cards PSD file. Open it as well. You can see near there are 15 
Tout layouts. You also have 15 folders on the layout panel. Each one of the folder contains one of the code layout. And there is one smart object that called edit layer. Open that layer by pressing twice on the smart object. In here you can make the changes that you want the same as we did before. When you finish, save it by going to file and save. And go back to all the codes window. And as you can see, we changed all the 15 layout at once. The method that we offer on this package, it's really easy and simple to use. And you don't need to be a professional to make it by yourself. This is it. Thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this video.